kind of like dancing like <laughs> hey guys it's Sadie here and welcome back to another video today I have some more miraculous ladybug dolls to unbox and that is Queen Bee and Marinette so if you haven't seen my other video where I reviewed the other dolls the uh, ladybug cat noir and Rena Rouge doll go check that video out first if you want <laughs> But I'm very excited because <laughs> after I spent all that money on those other dolls that I got from eBay, sent from like America and Australia because I didn't think we were going to get them in New Zealand, they showed up in New Zealand. And I could have saved so much money if I waited a bit longer. So that's great. <laughs> I mean, I'm really happy they are here because I definitely didn't expect us to get the Miraculous Ladybug dolls because we don't get a lot of things that other countries get and I know Miraculous Ladybug is pretty popular here so I'm really glad that they're here I just wish I didn't buy them on eBay before because I paid a lot of money for them but yeah I found these in Toy World they cost 40 New Zealand dollars each they do have all of them I was extra surprised to see they had Marinette because I didn't think we were going to get her because I think uh, she was a bit harder to find for a while but I only found one Marinette doll actually they only had one and I got her, I don't know, maybe they just didn't bring all the stock out yet. But yeah, I especially wanted this doll because she's just uh, really pretty. And yeah, of course, um, Queen Bee, since I didn't have her, I got her as well. Even though I don't really like Chloe, but I still want to collect all of them because I love Miraculous Ladybug. Oh, and also, <laughs> I also got this they were selling, so I decided to get this too. It's just like a little pack with a ladybug mask and clip-on earrings and the yo-yo and tiki. It's definitely made for kids, so I don't expect the mask to fit me. But like, the tiki though. Look how cute she is. I really mainly just want the tiki and the yo-yo, but... I mean, it's, it's kind of sick, you know? <laughs> I just want everything Miraculous Ladybug, to be honest. Yeah, I was super happy to find those. They do have some other Miraculous stuff too. Some like little figures that I'm going to be reviewing uh, soon. So yeah, I found these at Toy World, but uh, I believe Warehouse is getting them as well soon. So yeah, I'm actually going to start with this because it's kind of not much to go through. Oh my god, the Tiki is so cute! Look at her! She's so adorable! Is she like... she might be actually like accurate size. I thought maybe she was smaller, but now that she's in my hand... That's so cute. Aww, she's so adorable. Although she's missing her little, um, butt things that she has at the end of her, end of her butt. <laughs> she's missing them. Oh well, still very cute. So here is the yo-yo it comes with. Well, it's actually not a yo-yo, it doesn't have string attached to it, but you know. Oh wait, is it? <gasps> no, it is! It does have string. I'm dumb. It's just hidden. Yay! I don't honestly know how to use yo-yo but I'm gonna try and use it anyway. It doesn't have a proper loop for my finger to go through, so we'll just kinda... Oh! Okay. It works, I think. I don't know how to use yo-yo. <laughs> that's kinda sick, not gonna lie. It does have these spots on both sides too, so that's very nice. And this opens somehow. How do I open it? Okay, it opens and then Wait, what? Color change? So it has a little Akuma, and apparently it actually changes color to white. I'm not sure how though. Maybe it's with heat? With warm water. I don't have any warm- Oh, I can do it in my fish tank! It is tropical. Alright, let's do that. Is it working? I don't know if it's working. <laughs> the fish are very curious though. The fish are nibbling me now. Nothing's happening. I'm just gonna try and use the heat from my hands. Okay, you know what? Okay, this is kind of working. It's kind of- a bit more white, but it's... I don't know. I, I'm gonna go get some hot water to see, like, how white it actually turns. Alright, I have some hot water now, so let's see how well it works. Oh, there we go. That's better. That's pretty cool. Bye-bye, Peter -bye, Papillon. It's very quickly turning back to purple, though. Make sure you dry it off before you put it back into here, because this part is actually a sticker, so if you get that wet, it's gonna get a bit ruined so yeah but it's cute you can catch your akuma set it free there should be a button to open this okay here's a big reveal is a ladybug mask gonna fit me i think it actually will because it's actually a bit flexible <laughs> hey guys <laughs> it's ladybug here yeah. i look fucking insane dude bye bye a little butterfly <laughs> i mean it fits kind of it's really hurting my nose. It is digging into my nose. Here I am, bitches. Ladybug's here to save the day. I look fucking insane. Do you guys, like, when I put the mask on, do you guys, like, not know who I am? Like, in Ladybug, like, oh my god, it's, it's Ladybug. 
Oh my god, where'd a ladybug go? Okay, and we've got the earrings. These are clip-on earrings, which kind of sucks. I wish it, they were real earrings, but it is for kids, so I guess I can't expect that. So let me just take out my mushroom earrings. I've actually never worn clip-on earrings before. When I was a kid, like before I got my ears pierced, I had stick-on earrings, like little stickers. Yeah. Oh. How is it supposed to stay on? I don't get it. It does not stay! Am I dumb? There we go! Sisters! I am Ladybug. Okay, that's kind of cute. Definitely feels like it's gonna fall out any second. Oh, that's actually pretty cute though. It looks way too big. But I mean, a kid would totally love this. And an adult like me would also love this, so, you know. That's cool. The Tiki is definitely my favorite part about this set. <laughs> She's so cute. Wait, since Kwame's can't be caught on camera, can you guys actually see her? Alright, anyways, let's open the dolls. I'm gonna start with Queen Bee. So, I'm not really a big fan of Chloe. Well, it's not that I don't like Chloe, I just don't like what they did to her character. Because there was a time in the series where they were kind of redeeming her, and then a couple of episodes later, they just totally got rid of all of that character development that she just had and made her a bitch again. I mean, which was kind of disappointing. Because, you know, I'm always a sucker for uh, redeeming, like, villains. So it was pretty sad to see them try and do that and then just totally bail on it the next episode. Thomas Astruck, is that his name? He really hates Chloe. He always talks about how she's, like, just mean and that's it on his Twitter. And, like, I don't- I just find that really weird. I mean, she's- she's a literally, a, like, 14, 15. So to me, it just doesn't make sense that she's- she can't change, you know? I feel like that's such a bad message to people. I don't know. Maybe that's just me, you know? I'm sure people would disagree with me, but I feel like it could be such a good message to kids to be like, you know, sometimes people are mean, like how Chloe's mean, for a reason. Maybe because, you know, her family's um, very interesting, like her mother's quite horrible and her dad's kind of useless. So you kind of... You're a bit late there, Yuki. So yeah, you kind of feel bad for her. She's just trying to be like her mother, in a way. So it would be nice for her to change. To show kids, you know, that you can change and you don't have to be like your parents, you know? But I guess not. I guess that's not what they wanted to do. It kind of makes me think of the cute Mucksaders in My Little Pony and how, um, what was her name? Diamond Tiara? Chloe kind of reminds me of Diamond Tiara in a lot of ways and I feel like they changed Diamond Tiara quite well, I mean, it was pretty rushed because in one episode, but you know, you got to see why she was the way she was, and she ended up redeeming herself and becoming a better person. And I feel like Chloe's uh, situation is very similar to Diamond Tiara. It would be cool to see her change to become better, but you know, that's just my opinion. You know, I guess, well, her head is very loose. <laughs> She got a loose ass head. You know, I thought that she had the black in her hair, like how she does in a superhero form. She has the, um, yeah, you can see it like here. How she's got that, that black stripe in her hair. But, oh. She does not have that in the doll. For some reason I thought she did. I swear I saw a version of that doll that had the strap in her hair. I don't know. Yeah, her head is so loose though. I don't know why. But yeah, here she is. She definitely looks very accurate to the show, her face looks very accurate. They always do such a good job with the faces, I feel like. They just look so accurate to me. And she does have a really cool suit, too. I can't wait to see more of uh, what they do with the Bee Miraculous. These dolls, if you haven't seen my other video, they have an amazing amount of posability, which makes me think, like, I personally feel like 40 New Zealand dollars is a good price here. Because, like, Rainbow High dolls cost, like, $70 here. This doll costs $40, and they have amazing articulation. And they're just really, really great dolls in my opinion. I feel like kids will absolutely love the amount of posability in these dolls. Because, you know, action dolls and girls toys aren't super common. They're not just for girls, obviously, but, you know, they're aimed for girls. I feel like we can all say that, that the show's is aimed at a girl audience. But yeah, so they do have double-jointed elbows so they can move their arms way back like that. It's very, very cool. And they have double-jointed knees too so they can move their knees way back. It's very, very cool. So much posability in this. And they're they're very easy to move too. They're very smooth. They're not too stiff and not too loose. I know some people have had issues with having loose joints for the for their dolls. My dolls so far have been fine. Just Chloe's head is a bit loose. But other than that, I've had no other problems with them. She has her little um spinning top thing. Yeah, and they do have shoes on instead of having 
their suit go all the way down. Same with their hands, they don't have like the gloves on, they just have, it just stops um, at their hands, which makes sense because if the, if the material did go all the way down, it probably makes the articulation harder to move. It wouldn't be able to move to this extent, I feel like. So I definitely understand that. But sometimes it can look a bit funny because you can see, um, like, the skin. But I, I don't mind that, personally. And their masks are molded on, so you cannot take them off. And again, I like that because I feel like if, if you could take it off, it would look weird on them, like it would have to be attached by a string or something, which would look kind of weird. So I actually like that they're on, but I do hope that they make all the other characters into their normal, you know, civilian form dolls as well, because we only have Marinette so far, we don't have Adrian or Olia or anything like that, so I feel like it would be cool to see them in their civilian form too. Even Chloe. Yeah, maybe even Chloe. <laughs> they do all come with their Kwamis, so here is Pollen. She is so cute. She's absolutely adorable. And her miraculous is like the comb thing. It kind of looked a bit weird to be honest. Um, it's not very painted like detail. I kind of wish it looked more like an actual like comb thing. But it does have a, a little um, clip here. So you can clip it into her hair. So yeah, that's Queen Bee. She's looking pretty epic. And then we have Marinette. I feel like I haven't seen a lot of reviews of Marinette on YouTube. I'm not sure why. Maybe she's just hard to find for everyone. But yeah, there was only one day when I got her, so I'm not sure why she's harder to find, but she kind of is. she come with the same tiki? I don't remember. I think this is the same tiki. Is it? I don't know where my other tiki is. It's somewhere up there. Um, but it looks like the same one that we got in the Ladybug doll. I'm pretty sure it is. Okay, here is the Marinette doll. She is so adorable. Oh my god. God, she feels a kind of a yeah. She feels a little bit more loose than the dolls, to be honest. Kind of like dancing, like <laughs> go, Marinette, go. But like, uh, they did such a good job on her face. She looks so, so cute, and her hair looks so show accurate. It's just uh, it's so cool. Oh, she's so adorable. That's weird. Is my Marinette dog got the wrong earrings on? Like, look at her earrings. They're like black, but with red spots on them. That's weird, because aren't her earrings just black when she's not Ladybug? I don't know if that was meant to be like that. Maybe they gave me the earrings for the the other Ladybug doll, the one that's the new Lucky Charm one. I don't know what she's actually called, but there was a doll of that one too. But yeah, that's interesting. Not sure why they did that. But yeah, she's so adorable. I love her eyes. Oh, just everything about her face. And look at her clothes. They're just so cute and so accurate to the show. I love having uh, dolls and toys or whatever that are accurate to the character. It's just, it's very nice. She's got the pink polka dots and stuff. It's so cute. She's got her pink pants and her adorable little pink shoes. She's so cute. And she does have the same amount of posability as the other dolls, even though she's not a superhero doll. So that's really cool. I love that. I kind of wish she had articulated ankles because she's wearing like flat shoes, but none of the other ones do have that. They don't have a lot of posability in their hands. They are still, they, they can still move like they swivel, but you can't actually move them up and down. So yeah, but still, I'm, I don't really mind because like this, this double jointed is enough for me. It's very cool. And she does come with her little like purse, which is really cool. And it's kind of open like that, so you can put Tiki in it. Here's the little Tiki. I'm pretty sure it is the same one that came with Ladybug. Um, and she can just go into... Ooh, go into a purse. There we go. Oh, can you see her? Yeah, Tiki's hiding. <laughs> so yeah, that's really, really cute. Aww. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this review of these dolls. I absolutely love them so much, and I highly recommend them if you guys love Miraculous Ladybug like I do. They are just really, really cool dolls, and I am so happy we have them in New Zealand. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!